Good morning, everybody. Today, we're going to read chapter eight of the book Midnight on the Moon. This chapter is called One Star to Another. While I'm reading today, your goal is to think about your summary of this chapter. What's a summary? Yeah, the summary is the most important part. And a summary is so important because it really helps us remember what's happening in the book. I'm remembering my summary from yesterday. I wrote about the moon man giving Jack and Annie a map of the stars. And we have a hunch that maybe this map is the fourth M thing that they need. So we're gonna read chapter eight to figure out what happens next. While I'm reading, be thinking about what your summary is. Chapter eight, one star to another. Who was that guy, said Jack, and what does his map mean? I don't know, said Annie, but let's see if it works. Jack took a deep breath. <sighs> yeah, we'd better hurry back. I think I'm running out of air. It feels harder to breathe. For me too, said Annie. Go slow. Don't breathe too much, said Jack. He and Annie took long, floating steps toward the moon base. Jack held his breath as if he were underwater. Can you hold your breath? <sighs> that wouldn't be easy to do while you're moving on the moon. By the time they got to the white dome, he was ready to burst. Annie pushed a button beside the huge door. It slid open. They hurried into the airlock. The door closed behind them and the door to the hallway opened. Jack opened the visor to his helmet and he took a long, deep breath. <sighs> ah, let's get out of these suits, said Annie. Good idea. Jack was dying to free his arms and legs. As they moved clumsily into the spacesuit storage room, Jack felt heavy again. He and Annie unlocked each other's helmets, gloves, and boots and pulled everything off. Then they stopped. Uh, they, then they stepped out of their bulky suits. Woo! said Jack. He took off his glasses and rubbed his eyes. It was great to be free, even if he no longer felt as light as a feather. Hurry! Peanuts waiting, said Annie. She led the way down the steps to the bright landing chamber. Yay, she said softly. Jack was relieved to see the treehouse was still there. Soon they'd be heading home. He couldn't wait. Jack and Annie crawled through the treehouse window. We're back, Peanut, said Annie. Squeak! Peanut ran to the letter M. We missed you, said Annie, and she patted the mouse on the head. We met a moon man. Sorry, Peanut, but you have to move, said Jack. We have to put the map on the M. Annie gently lifted the mouse off the letter M. Jack tore the star map out of his book and placed it on the letter M next to the mammoth bone, the mango, and the moonstone. He sighed, <sighs> then sat back on his heels. Hand me the Pennsylvania book, he said. They needed the Pennsylvania book to get back home. There was silence. Jack turned and looked at Annie. It's not working, Jack, said Annie. The book's not here. What? Was the map the wrong thing? They looked around the treehouse. It's definitely not here. Oh no! Jack's heart sank. He picked up the star map and stared at it. Squeak, squeak! Peanut jumped out of Annie's arm and scurried back to the letter M. I've got an idea, said Jack. He reached into his pack and took out a pencil. What are you doing, said Annie. You know how you draw a constellation, said Jack. You connect all the stars. What happens if we try that? He drew a line from one star to the other. He kept drawing until all the stars were connected. Let me see, said Annie. Jack held the paper out so they could both study it. It looks like a mouse, said Annie. Yeah, said Jack. Look at that picture. Do you guys think that looks like a mouse? Do you have any predictions about what might happen? When I see the mouse, I start to think about Peanut and wonder if Peanut's important. Is there such thing as a mouse, mouse constellation, said Annie. I don't think so, said Jack. Squeak! Annie and Jack looked over at Peanut. She was standing on the M. Oh, wow, Jack, said Annie. I think I know what the fourth thing is. Jack grinned. Grinned means to smile. Can you tell me your smile? Jack's feeling happy. Me too, he 
said. It's a mouse, they said together. Squeak, squeak. Maybe the spell is Moonstone Mango Mammoth Bone Mouse, said Annie. Jack touched each thing, touched each M thing in, in turn as he whispered. Moonstone Mango Mammoth Bone Mouse. Let's say it over and over and see what happens, said Annie. They chanted together. You can do it with me. Ready? Moonstone, mango, mammoth bone, mouse. Moonstone, mango, mammoth bone, mouse. Moonstone, mango, mammoth bone, mouse. Suddenly, a bright light filled the treehouse. The light got brighter and brighter and brighter. The brightness was blinding and whirling. The air spun with brightness. Then everything was clear. Peanut the mouse was gone, and Morgan Le Fay stood before Jack and Annie. Oh my goodness, we found Morgan again. All right, let's think about what our summary is. What did Jack and Annie figure out? What was the fourth M thing? It's, your hint is this picture right here. Yeah, the fourth M thing was their friend, Peanut, the mouse. So they found the fourth M thing, and then what happened because of that? Someone appeared. Who was that person? Yeah, you guys, Morgan appeared because they found all four M things. That's so exciting. I want you to think about how you could write about that for your chapter summary today. Once you have your summary in your brain, we're going to show you what we want you to do for writing time today.